Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Sorry I missed Saturday. It was one of those things again. No, no excuse, no real reason. It's not, I'm fine, everything's good, everything's okay. I just goofed up again. So here I am, uh, gonna be doing two messages today, two video game videos today. The 30 minute message will be something else that is released in tandem with this one. I'll leave a link in the description down below. For right now, we're in the book of Esther now. So let's go into chapter two, verse 12. I learned something very new today, and I'm gonna share with you what that is. Each young woman's turn came to go into King Ahasuerus after she had completed 12 months preparation according to the regulations for the women, for thus were the days of their preparation apportioned, six months with oil of myrrh and six months with perfumes and preparations for beautifying women. Now at this time, for those of you who do not know, basically the king got rid of the old queen because she made him mad, needs a new queen, so they get all the young beautiful virgins in the kingdom and bring them to the king. And apparently they had a 12 months um, preparatory regiment in order to just go before the king. Thus prepared, by the way, verse 13, thus prepared each young woman went to the king and she was given whatever she desired to take with her from the woman's quarters to the king's palace. In the evening she went and in the morning she returned to the second house of the women. I'm going to pause right there. <clears throat> so in the evening she went and in the morning she left. Now that's really really safe talk for those who are very young and don't know what sex is. For the older people like myself who know what sex is that it's pretty obvious what happened. You go to them in the evening, you leave in the morning, they had sex that night. And if you enjoyed it, multiple times. That's how that worked. That's how adult, that's how adults work. And that's how the king was doing his testing of the young women. Which one did he like the most? Which one was the most pleasing to the eye? And to the penis. So, I all, I honestly just, I knew that, I remember the first, I was just like, oh, Esther was chosen. And then at some point I learned, oh wait, this is how, this is how he selected these women. Oh, I get this now. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. So I was like, so Esther basically sinned in order to become the queen of all of, what is this, Persia? Where is this? Where, wherever the heck it was, I think this is Persia. I don't even remember what kingdom this was exactly. So, I was like, okay, so Esther basically, I guess she chose instead of, you know, telling the king, no, I'm waiting for my husband and probably dying doing so. She was like, well, this is the way the king is doing it. I'm just going to submit to it. My life will be spared and... And then God used her in her sinful state to save all of Israel. I thought, honestly, for quite a while, until just today when I reread this, that that's how it went. But in the second part of verse 14, 14b, um, well, let me back up to what I just read. I'm going to reread all of verse 14. In the evening she went, and in the morning she returned to the second house of the women. Now to keep on going, to the custody of Shashgaz, the king's eunuch, who kept the concubines. She would not go into the king again unless the king delighted in her and called for her by name. That was the principle of grabbing concubines. In other words, uh, they weren't exactly wives, and I honestly don't know. I haven't studied to know exactly what the difference between a wife and a concubine was. So the rich men at that time, and the rulers especially, had multiple wives. A lot of the kings also had concubines on top of their wives. Since they were allowed to have multiple wives at that time, I don't know why there was a difference, a differentiation made between wives and concubines. I have no idea what it is. Concubines essentially, though, are they're like secondary wives. I guess maybe they're maybe they're treated as servants or slaves. I don't know. I have no idea. But no, it was well within the king's rights back in that time to have multiple wives. And concubines. If Esther was chosen because she was beautiful enough, she wasn't in sin. She was practicing the custom of her day. And in the Old Testament, God did allow for multiple marriages. You see it even among the godly in Israel, David and Solomon. Um, I'll say, well, Solomon did fall at the end of his life, and David did have a mishap. And strangely enough, it involved a woman. Like he already had multiple wives, though. Before the whole incident with Bathsheba, David had multiple wives. 
and he was a godly man. And when he com um, committed infidelity with Bathsheba and then murder by killing her husband to hide the pregnancy, and then repented in Psalm, was it 52? 53? One of those two. Look it up. Homework. <clears throat> And then he went on to live the rest of his life for God. But multiple marriages were allowed at that time. They were not condemned or considered sinful. And neither was the taking in of concubines. So, <clears throat> yeah, Esther was not in sin. And I honestly, I was under this misunderstanding for my... It's honestly been years at this point. 36 years old. This is my third time through the Bible. And this time I just kind of picked up on that second part of the verse. Oh, they went into the second house. Oh, she would have been a concubine. She was well within the regulations of God at that time, and the regulations of her culture. Esther did absolutely nothing wrong. And I've read the Bible so many times and never picked up on that fact. No matter how many times you go through the Bible, you can always learn something new, and a new detail can still poke out at you. So I learned something new. Esther wasn't the sinner I thought she was. Two thumbs up, good for her. And thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully, if you didn't know that about Esther, now you do. I know now I do. And now you, hopefully you'll keep in mind that no matter how many times you go through the Bible, you can always get something new out of it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.